So we've been talking about a lot of really depressing things on the show lately, so I thought that I'd switch it up with more of a lighthearted segment. So I wanted to share a clip with you that is going viral of Trump supporters on an airplane reacting to news that they are going to get kicked off of the plane. Now, keep in mind that we don't have the full context leading up to what we're going to see in this clip, but it's evident that whatever the reason for them being removed before this, the reason was justified because of their behavior. So it seems as if they were reported by the people sitting next to them for being obnoxious and saying horrible things. And then you're going to see why they absolutely needed to be removed. Now, I'm not sharing this with you uh, because I want to make you angry. This is actually a segment that I think will make you feel a bit happy. And I say this not necessarily because the contents are good, but because this has a really happy ending that might restore your faith in humanity. Not a ton, but just a little bit. Enjoy. You don't like the words I'm coming not, out of my mouth. Okay, so pretty much. No words. No words. Free speech is dead. Okay, Excuse so me. Didn't do anything. You're definitely coming off. No, right. we're not coming off. Okay, you are. Yeah. And you're going to have to take everyone off. Uh, this is ridiculous. You guys see what's happening in America? You didn't like what he said, and now we're getting kicked off a plane. And all of you all are gonna have to wait. This is fucking outrageous. You guys, we're gonna turn into China. It's coming. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Clearly, the president or the mass of people didn't like what he said. Like, how much now? Really? Really? Oh, I. Love Elon Musk. He is the best. Elon! He is the fucking king! Because the mass people in our row are kicking us off the plane. We're off the plane because the mass Checking us off. You know what? It's a beautiful day. I'm happy to stay one more night. I am suing you. What is your name, sir? I'm suing you. And I'm suing you. Hey, buddy, I can't get money. the airline. Oh my god. I have nothing to do. Oh, I'm offended. I used to dance on Broadway, and I'm not getting that fucking vaccine. We didn't do anything. We did nothing. Shanghai, guys. What? What? I've got to say, them getting booed by the other passengers genuinely was heartwarming. Um, it restored my faith in humanity a little bit, I I've got to say. And also when they claimed that they're being kicked off the plane specifically because they're Trump supporters alleging political discrimination, 
when everyone laughed, that made me feel so happy to see that like nobody is going to buy into your victim narrative. It's bullshit. I mean, I'm sure that there were other conservatives on that plane that laughed at them as well because they were being so petulant, behaving in such an obnoxious and, and disgusting way that nobody was buying what you were selling. Everything bad that happens to you isn't because of your political ideology, believe it or not, but these uh, conservatives, I mean, everything is kind of like confirmation, right? Everything that happens to them is confirmation. If you stub your toe, well, it's because you're a conservative. This wouldn't happen to a liberal. I mean, this is the way that they think. Um, so one thing that I love is that these are the types of people that are calling us sheep, right? She went through probably 90% of all of the talking points from the right that we've been hearing over the course of the last like six months. And she's the same person that would in turn say that you're a sheep because you wear a mask or get vaccinated. And she went through everything, right? She hit on the love for Elon Musk because conservatives are riding his dick lately since he purchased Twitter. Uh, she talked about the vaccines, how she's not getting the vaccine. I mean, everything. Like, you can tell that this person has consumed so much right-wing propaganda that their brain is just mush at this point. Like, this is what happens when you consume, consume years of propaganda, conservatism. Like, it just melts your brain. Like, if you look closely, you could probably see goo dripping out of her ears and her husband's ears, and that's brain goo. Like, their brains are melting from too much conservatism. So let's go through some specifics here. Free speech is dead. That's my favorite part. Whenever there are consequences for uh, your actions, if you're a conservative, all you have to do is claim free speech and you immediately cultivate sympathy. Not on that plane, apparently, but like there are limits to freedom of speech. That's not a violation of the First Amendment for a private airplane company to kick somebody off for saying crude things, but there are limits to free speech. Nobody is a free speech absolutist, even if they might purport to be. And that's because without limits to freedom of speech, then Society would be a hellhole. And that's not to say that we shouldn't protect speech and advocate for as much speech as possible. But if we allowed for death threats, for example, with no repercussions, imagine how bad that would be for society or harassment. Imagine if you just walked around yelling at someone, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you for an hour. And, you know, nobody could intervene. Cops couldn't arrest that person because free speech, it'd be ridiculous, right? So you have to have some lines and you acting like an ass on a plane is not a violation of your freedom of speech. But I mean, again, this is a conservative. So anytime there's consequences for their actions, whenever they're being held accountable, uh, accountable, even minimally, they cry free speech. And usually it works, but thankfully not on that plane. So um, she talked about how, uh, do you guys see what's happening in America? As if uh, this is some microcosm of a bigger trend of America becoming more authoritarian because you were kicked off of the fucking plane. Um, she said, we're getting kicked off the plane and now all of you are going to have to wait. So notice that Karen moved there because you're inconveniencing me and you told on me and I'm getting kick kicked off the plane. We're not going to leave. So we're going to slow things down for everyone. We're going to make your lives hell. Fuck you. I mean, imagine being that entitled. Jesus Christ. Uh, you guys, we're going to turn to China. It's coming. Why? Because you're getting kicked off the plane. What specifically about China do you not like? It's true that tr China absolutely cracks down on freedom of speech and freedom of expression, and I don't like that. But I don't think that you can articulate specifically what's wrong with China, what's wrong with their political system that you don't like. Be specific. I mean, she'd probably say communist. In fact, that's one talking point that she missed. She could have claimed that the communists were kicking or off of a plane, but she's just like going down the list. Elon Musk, I'm not getting the fucking vaccine. It's just every single right wing talking point. I mean, holy shit. Talk about Kool-Aid drinkers. Now, my favorite part of all time is when she looked over to the guy and she said, I'm suing you. What is your name, sir? Excuse me. You want me to assist you in this lawsuit that you're apparently going to be lobbying at me? Sure. Let me give you my name. It's, it's James Thompson. My address is, uh, like, do you want any additional details that might help you with this lawsuit against me? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> holy fucking shit. And then uh, her husband chimed in and that's when it got really dark. So he said, hey, buddy, I guarantee I have more money than you. OK, he claimed he was a retired FBI agent or something. Um, wouldn't surprise me if I'm being honest. Uh, so he also said uh, mockingly to the people sitting next to them who presumably reported them. Oh, I'm offended because I'm an F-slur. Just dropping the F-slur, wondering why would we get kicked off the plane? Um, 
And yeah, that's basically <laughs> that clip in a nutshell. Uh, truly ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. But I love this clip because it really demonstrates that Trump supporters, they actually believe that they're the victims. Even when they use slurs in public, they still have the audacity to claim that really people don't like them because they're Trump supporters. They're being discriminated against because of their political uh, political affiliation. Now, it's interesting. Why would you think that everyone else would assume you're Trump supporters? I mean, obviously, we had enough to go off of to think that, okay, they're probably Trump supporters. But, like, you weren't wearing a hat that said, make America great again. You weren't wearing any Trump-like merch that I could see. Maybe I'm wrong. But, I mean, just aesthetically speaking, you couldn't really tell that they were Trump supporters. But she expected everyone to know that they were Trump supporters because of the way that they were behaving. So what does that tell you about your movement if you're a Trump supporter? You know that you're all crude. You know that you're all dickheads. And you couldn't help but play the victim card. Amazing. But just seeing other passengers not take that bullshit and seeing them get booed was incredible. Now, like, I have no idea if this couple was uh, sober or not. I kind of hope that they were drunk because if you were sober and behaving that way, that's even somehow worse. But either way, I mean, this behavior is inexcusable. If you can't hold your liquor, then you shouldn't be in public drinking. But I mean, again, I don't know. I'm just speculating here. They could have been completely sober. We've seen sober people behave in this way countless times in America, right? The Karen phenomenon is a phenomenon for a reason. It's because it keeps fucking happening. But it's just, I, I love that they, <laughs> they claim that they're being discriminated against as they literally use slurs. Unreal. But either way, the happy ending was enough to make me really value this clip. Just seeing other Americans not put up with this bullshit, it means something. In 2022, it, it means something. It might mean not that much, but still, it means something. And I'll take it. Tremendous, 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 tremendous